<laughs> and we're back. Welcome, ladies and gents, boys and girls. I'm Jordan Pierce Owens, JPO, coming at you live in your living room, your phone, your bathroom. Maybe you're the basement you're being held in. I don't know. I'm not there. Today, we have a very fierce combatant in match here. I don't even think that's really the correct wording, but hey, it's what I went with. This is the semifinals of the 2020 King of Wrestling Trivia. Wrestling with Trivia King. Today, we have two people. You know them. You love them. First of all, the guy's had one hell of a week. It's the week of wheels. He is 2-0 and this week. Live from Cape Coral, ladies and gentlemen, Dustin, the wheels, Leon. Hi. With his pen in high. And his opponent, another man, he's a fierce combatant. He's defeated me. He's he's had his title shot. He's looking for one more title shot. And he might just be this step closer to becoming the king. Will he be facing Ryan McCormick? We'll find out here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, from all the way across the seas, he is Pac's favorite wrestler turned trivia combatant. It's Kevin B. Hello. And you guys are so different. He goes, hi, you go, hello. You can just tell you guys are like. Fierce. I'm looking forward to it, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Put a fierce promo on him, man. Make him fear your wheels. Question number one. Finish this Edge and Christian quote. For the benefit of those with blank, blank. Tonight's sponsor is SE Groceries, purified drinking water. If you're not drinking this water, then you're a douche. I'm pretty sure that's their slogan. I'm not even sure what SE Groceries is. Was that one, Dixie? I don't even know where this water came from. I'm drinking this water. Whoa, essence. Is there a little bit of lemon in there? There is lemon and lime. Mm, And lime. Oh, wow. Geez, you're you're fancy. I know. All right. Are we both in, gentlemen? Yes. Can we go with Dustin the Wheels lay on first? Flash photography, Kevin B. Yeah, that's that's what I went with. I was worried there was more to it than that, so I was having a little oh, panic there. That's why I did I did say blank blank. So I, I said I was just looking for two words, or I kind of said oh. it. I said it in my mind, and you guys luckily read my mind. Question number two: What two current? AEW wrestlers wrestled the first ever WSX Wrestling Society X match on MTV Music Television. Hey, screw you, Wills. I told you WSX was about to start popping up in this league. Now, I'll tell you what. Um, I've, I've, I've changed the rules here a little bit for some of these questions. If you one of you even, let's say, gets one of them and, none of you, and the other guy gets none, I'll still give you the point. So it's whoever, if you can at least guess one of the two. So somebody, I'm, I'm going to try to give the point to somebody. If if you got none of the two, then I can't give you the point. But All right, repeat the question one more time. Question number two. What two current AEW All Elite Wrestling wrestlers wrestled the first ever WSX match on MTV Wrestling Society X? It lasted for one season. I thought you were going to say the match lasted for one minute or something then. Uh, no, I do think it was a shortish match, but all the matches are relatively short. If I've got this right, I'll be very chuffed because it's it's a educated guess based on very little. Educated guess based on little. All right. Yeah. I think we're both in. Let's go with Kevin B this time. Kevin, show me what you got, baby. I've gone with Scorpio Sky and Jack Evans. Scorpio Sky versus Jack Evans from the Heavens Wheels. What did you go with? You went with Matt Seidel versus Jack Evans. Oh, my Ooh. God. Wheels nailed it on the head. Kevin, oh. you were halfway there. It was indeed Jack Evans. But, unfortunately, the opponent was Mr. Slipping from the Top Rope. I'm, I don't want to make fun of him. Matt <laughs> I've just seen that recently. I watched that the other day. I was It was terrible. <laughs> and Daisy Hayes was Matt Seidel's manager. Oh, see? And you flipped me off. I'm, I'm taking a point away from you now for – Doubting. Good idea. Good idea. That match like popped in my head just now. So that saying, was a flu. Known dudes. Sky was a good guest. Sky was a roster member as well. That's about all I knew. I, I could remember a few 
roster members like Teddy Hart and Jack Evans and Scorpio hey, Sky. And... Hold on. Maybe there's Teddy Hart questions coming up. There is not. Number three. <laughs> who competed on a March 2007 SmackDown wrestling under the name Cedric Von Housen? Um... I can give you a hint if you both agree. I'm okay with a hint. Do you? I'm fine with it. Wheels. What? Would you like a hint, Wheels, or no? Yes. It is a current NXT star, so that narrows the pool. I did think it would probably be someone who was current. Uh, well, and, and, and in NXT, so you know, I limited the pool even more for you. Uh, NXT, NXT, NXT. I'm guessing again. Oh, I was looking at photos. Okay, you're both in. Dustin, Wheels, what you got? Johnny Gargano, Kevin? I went for the other member of DIY. <laughs> ah, what well, is a member of DIY? But it was Johnny Gargano, Wheels, pulling out that third point. I just wanted to pull up some photos. Look at a baby face Johnny Gargano from the year 2007, Cedric Van Helsen. <laughs> I think, I think if I'd a... seen the picture, I still wouldn't have known it was him. Yeah, true. Uh, he went on. And to... I just saw Tampa, Champa too. MVP. Yeah, there's a photo. Champa. I was actually going to maybe do this later on, so I'll do it in a match you guys aren't in. Uh, Champa did guest star as a lawyer one time or something like that. So <laughs> Champa's done some weird stuff too. All right, and number four. You have a one in three shot here. Who was the first Shield member? To win the Intercontinental title. Oh. I, oh. <laughs> I was writing down for another championship. <laughs> um, Word to the wise. Wait for the question to be answered. Yeah. <laughs> be asked. Um. Wheels is in. Can't I can't remember who was even in the shield. There was Roman Reigns was in the shield, I think. Mm. Was like now you've done that. Now you've done that. Pretty sure it was Adam Rose the Bunny. And then Hornswoggle with the shield. Um Speaking of fierce matches, my two cats are currently having a hardcore bout. Jake, baby. Stop it. No chairs thrown. Oh, one's got a stable gun now. Oh, my God. Damn. Kevin B., what did we ultimately go with? Uh, Roman Reigns. Dustin, what did we ultimately go with? And <laughs> stop doubting yourself, doesn't it? Is indeed Dean Ambrose giving you your fourth point, Dustin Wills is just running away. Some may have called him the underdog in this in this match, but he is running away with it. Uh, actually, did Roman? I believe he would be last. If, did he ever win it? Yeah, because yeah. didn't he like always drape it over his shoulder? No, oh, maybe. I think he's last to win it though. Maybe he's before that, but it was definitely Dean first. Roman Reigns, like, he, he won it at the end of a year, so that they could okay. say he'd won, like, a triple crown in a year or something. Well, ah, my hand. I'll talk about that later. Number five, who was the first WWE Divas champion? Who was the first to be the Divas champion? It was Ooh. not me. Sadly, I was not invited. Because we're recording again. All right, Dustin, what you got? 
This time I'm not doubting myself, I think. Okay, how dare you talk about think. Like that? Kevin, what you got? Uh, I also have Michelle McCool, so it doesn't really matter if it's right or wrong. It isn't. <laughs> Mark's wife, Michelle McCool. Much respect. So we were right? Yes. It was indeed Michelle McCool. Listen up, girls. Number six. What was Zelina Vega's name while she was with TNA? Oh, and uh, it's one of two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what a uh, dilemma you have there, Kev. It was not Zelina nor Vega, if that helps. I was hoping you were going to say when she debuted on NXT because I know that one. I don't think I know that one. <laughs> we'll talk about that after you give answers because. <laughs> I maybe won't mention it. You, uh, uh, you know, maybe one day I'm I'll be. Not sure on the spelling. Uh, if you're like I, like I said, I'm pretty nice here. If you're in the ballpark, you know. But if you put Robert and it's you know, uh, Richard can't give it to you. But if you just put you know, I don't know. If you know what I mean. I don't know what I mean. But if you know what I mean, Kevin, what you got? Uh, Rosita. What you got, Dust? Same. Yes, indeed, Rosita. What was she on NXT? Uh, she was uh, Tia, Tia, Tia Trinidad, which oh, is so a real name. Her legit name. Okay, that was my guess. So, all right, number seven. At WWE TLC 2013, the World Heavyweight and WWE World Titles were unified with who winning them? Repeat one more time, I'm sorry. TLC 2013. The World Heavyweight, Big Gold, and the WWE World Titles were unified. This was, you know, right after they ended the brand split that one time. <laughs> Who walked away being the first unified champion? I'm going to say this is easy. <laughs> this is an easy one. Oh... Glazed over, look in his eyes. This is my chance to catch up. I guess it's not too easy. <laughs> Are we in? This is where I'm wrong, and I'm go- <laughs> I'm acting really cocky about it. <laughs> Are we in, Dust? Not quite. One more minute. All right, you have 49 and a half seconds. Sound effects by Kevin B. Total guess, but okay. All right, give it to me, Wheels. What you got? Can't move my hand. Del Rio, Kevin B. What you got? Randy Orton. Randy Orton walking away with it. In fact, I think wasn't he? Wasn't it when it was like on a on a hanger? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Big, I just remember. I just remember him doing it. I don't. I didn't even. Well, yes, Randy Orton was the answer. Uh, Kevin creeping up on wheels, four to six. Kevin with four. Number eight, who did Bobby the Brain Heenan face at WrestleMania 5? Yeah. <laughs> if 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 it helps, Dutch was giving answers, and all twelve of them are wrong. <laughs> all right, what we got, Kev? Uh, Red Rooster. What we got wheels. Red Rooster. Bruce Bridger's favorite wrestler. <laughs> I was like, what's the long answer you got? Yes, indeed. It was the Red Rooster. See, I, I thought of that immediately, and then I started to doubt myself. And then, <laughs> yeah. Never let Red Rooster be doubted in your mind. 
Number nine, in the land of television, what current AEW star was a cast member of the reality TV show Big Brother? Dutch nailed it, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Kevin's in. A bit Already? Goddamn. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm in, and I know it's right. Ah. No pressure. How far behind am I? One point, two points? Two. Five to seven. We're still not even halfway there, though. We've, we've seen bigger comebacks. Kev's, I think, been a sneaky comeback person before. I normally get 12, though, so if he gets past 12, I'm going to chance. <laughs> no, that's your cap. He's not going to get it. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if he did. Wheels, what did you come up with? Scorpio. Uh, I don't think even who listened to the question, actually. Kevin? Luchasaurus. Oh, okay. You know what I was thinking of, Wills? You did hear the question. I'm sorry. Kevin got it. <laughs> when I said uh, TV show, I was thinking you said thinking the TV show Scorpio. You were saying Scorpio Sky. <laughs> sorry. I went off. <laughs> but uh, Luchasaurus is the answer, yes. Uh, uh, obviously, without a mask, just a normal dude. Also, I thought about asking what TNA former wrestler, and that would have been Jesse Goddard's if I'd asked that question. I would have known that, but not this one. <laughs> you would have known the Jesse Goddard's one? I thought that was more obscure. But then again, you're a TNA guy, I think. <laughs> I think I might have known that one. I, I think I would have come up with it. I do remember he was on reality TV. Yeah, Jesse beat him. Jesse was on it several years before. Uh... But I spelled his name wrong on an answer on this before, and he didn't give me it, so I might have spelled it wrong again. Ah, you must have spelled it really wrong. You must have put like Jesse Goodman or something. <laughs> I think I spelled. I think I spelled it Gozers. I think it was Jesse Gozers. Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, like that's a totally different name. Almost. <laughs> Number ten in the land of movies. What wrestler farts in oh. the ring in the Netflix movie main event? Say that again. Yeah. Say that again. What wrestler farts in the ring? In the Netflix movie main event, it just came out a few months ago. I've actually, I know I've seen yeah. it, I just forget that part. It shows you how memorable the film is. Hmm? My brother would have had this one because we've joked about this before. No. No. You got at least some guesses? All right, Will, give me a guess, hey, man. Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, I said Dolph. You went with Mr. Ziggles. Kevin, you went with? Uh, the Big Show. I was looking for Otis. Good old Otis. Let out a big old... Oh, uh, anywho, number seven. <laughs> this is how we're going to work this question here. Like I said, have we worked some of the rules or what, Wills? You got a question? Number, number what? I thought you said seven. Oh, it is number 11, but I, I said seven for why I'm about to say seven. Uh, okay. This is how I'm working this question. Like I said, I've played around with some of the rules before I was named this many, named that many. There's seven options here. Whoever has the most gets the point. So, you know, if someone has more than the other, they get the point. If you both have the same amount of correct answers, you both get it. What I'm asking you is name all seven or as many as you can members of Team WWE when they fought Team Nexus at SummerSlam 2010. Team WWE. There's seven of them. Name as many as you can. So the, the point goes to the person who names the most. Yeah.
All right, I ran out guesses. I think I might have seven. Oh, could Kevin B have a perfect score here? Well, let's start. Let's start with Wheels. Wheels, show me your list. Okay. Abzina. You know. Edge. Yeah. Edge. Yeah. Jericho. Yeah. Orton. Daniel Bryan. Big Show. Okay, so I can give you four. Would you get six on there? Huh? Yeah. You had six on there, right? He had six answers, yeah. Yes. All right, I get you got four. Uh, there is no Big Show, and then there is no Orton. So, Kevin, what do you got? Don't be Ryan. What are you doing? Well, that means I've got four because I've got four that were the same as him. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's see. Just, just to clarify. Well, I've got John Cena, yeah. Daniel uh, Bryan, Bret Hart, Hart. Uh, Chris Jericho, Jericho, Edge, John Morrison, and The Miz. No, you got six. Oh. The only one you're incorrect on is The Miz. There was Cena... Our truth, I think, is maybe the missing dude, right? Oh, yeah. I don't have that. John Morrison, Bret Hart, Daniel Bryan, Edge, Chris Jericho. Yes. So Kevin gets the point, making this, ladies and gentlemen, a tied game. As we go on to question number twelve, similar to the Johnny Gargano question from earlier. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa. Another cameo question of before they were famous, kind of. What um, current NXT star? made a prior WWE appearance having drinks with Straight Edge Society's Serena. Okay, I'm in. I'm not. I'm wrong, but I'm in. All right, let's see if you are both wrong or right indeed. Uh, Kev, what you got this time? Uh, I'm, oh, I'm for... still writing. Oh, is that the... Sorry, I thought you went. I thought you went. Like, I don't know. Um, you... <laughs> it's all right. He wasn't looking when I put it up. <laughs> It's probably wrong anyway, so <laughs> I will not be hey, for sure. You but... don't have confidence in me? No, no, I meant my answer's probably wrong. <laughs> no, he meant his, 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 which I will not confirm nor deny, but it's definitely wrong. <laughs> All right, Wheels, what you got? Total wrong guess, I think, but Damien Priest. All right, and just for clarification, can I throw that answer up? Uh, Fandango. Uh, looking for Adam Cole, baby. Adam mm -hmm. Cole having drinks with Serena, and then Punk and Gallows came along. And uh, it's been to... a long way down my guest list. That. Yeah. Also, a uh, pretty young Adam Cole when you look at it too, because this is you know straight as society days. Number thirteen. In honor of the pay per view tonight, Bound for Glory. Can you tell me what main evented last year's Bound for Glory? Wheels is in. Winning on Kev. Yeah, I'm quite happy. Yeah, I'm quite happy. I'm in. All right. Uh, same thing as before. If uh, Even if you have half, if someone has none, I'll give it to them. Uh, what do you got, Wheels? Tessa and Cage. All right, what do you got, Kev? I've got uh, Sammy Callahan and Cage. Oh, Kev pulls it out and also pulls out the lead right now. 
Sammy, Did Sammy Callahan win the title? I believe. Uh, oh, the next impact he did. Yeah, oh. it was an impact episode, actually. Yeah, in a cage, I want to say. He beat Cage in a cage. Well, no, I, I, he did. I mean, I didn't even piece that together. Waka Waka. Number 14. <laughs> Tommaso Ciampa turned on Johnny Gargano at what takeover? <sighs> I believe we're winning on Kev. Yeah, I mean, don't be so excited now. I've we're, just, I've just put a big city in. That's all I've done. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean, you know, it's at least a good guess if you uh, don't know for sure. Uh, Wills, what you got? Brooklyn, oh, Brooklyn, bring it, bring it, bring it back to you, Kevin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be devastated if that's the answer because I was gonna put it, <laughs> but I put Philadelphia. Oh, well, don't worry, because it was a different city. <laughs> Looking for Chicago. Chicago. So both of you were just states apart. Number 15. What kind of match did Raven create in TNA? Now, Wheels, this this should be in your ballpark. This might get that tie back for you, because I know you're an older TNA guy. But is Kevin an older TNA guy? Dun, 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 dun. Kevin! <laughs> Hopefully then with a smile. If he gets it as well, then he at least keeps the lead, if not gets an even bigger lead. No no uh, pressure will. Hey, do you want to watch um, Bound for Glory in Spanish, French, Dutch, or English? What do you call me? I called you a douche. Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. Wow, I'm dumb. No one uh no one replay, replay this episode. Are we looking? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. What else what you got? Black word, orange, house of fun. Hold on, hold on, Kev, Kev. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Wheels? It's up know. to you. It's a tournament match. I'm not going to say. Let me <laughs> let me mute and check with my counsel here. See what he says. I really do have a person next. Forgive you this and not me, I'm gonna be slightly annoyed. <laughs> Kevin, I hate doing it to you, but I, I gotta give it a wheel. I would have gave it to him though. Oh, please, oh, uh, you made me the bad guy. Well, you are the bad guy. <laughs> Me and the side judge agreed that we got it was a house of fun. It's like saying buried alive. We just went the buried match, like full full match, man. I would have accepted buried match for buried alive match. <laughs> Not the host. <laughs> Did you know it was of fun? I knew them. I know the match. <laughs> Did you know I the full it, match though? I wrote it down in three seconds. <laughs> Well, you can have to very quickly. I'm sticking to my guns. Don't don't quit the league. Uh, you're so tied. Eight to eight. <laughs> Number 16. Who did Abyss win the NWA tag team titles with? The only time he won the NWA tag team titles.
Oh God. Uh, are we tired again? I really need to remember this then. <laughs> that was stupid. Sorry, I'm watching a different wrestling show. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't definitely wasn't talking to you guys. <laughs> I was watching an Orange Cassidy match. <laughs> I might have it. All right, well, what do you got, Wheels? The phenomenal one, Kev. Oh, hang on. He's just put AJ as far as I'm concerned. You know, you AJ's. Know, as soon as I said it, I said next time he's. Oh. Well, it's AJ CM Punk's wife, surely. <laughs> All right, we both get the point. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Oh, 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 what? So I put half an answer and I, I'm wrong. He put half an answer and he's right. That's just. Because oh. of the name, is und- it's undeniable. Huh? There's more than one wrestler called AJ. There's not more than one Clockwork Orange match. <laughs> well, there's nothing called Clockwork Orange. There is a match called Clockwork Orange House of Fun. Number 17, Larry Zabisco defeated what former WWE tag team and light heavyweight champion in his only Ring of Honor match? Say that again. Larry Zabisco defeated what former WWE tag team and light heavyweight champion in his only Ring of Honor match. So, hang on, what what belts? What belts were there? No. This guy is a former WWE tag team and light heavyweight champion. No belts. Yeah, but I I, I was. What belts are they held? Did you not hear okay. what? Yeah, yeah, I've heard now. Oh, well, <laughs> he has it now. Okay, what were you saying, Will? Uh, you, you confused me. I was trying to help him. I don't know. Huh. It sounded like you were trying to mislead him. <laughs> I mean, uh... I was just, it's just me narrowing the field for you that this guy that he defeated was a former WWE tag team and a former WWE light heavyweight champion. And what, what what year was it? I don't think that'll help us. <laughs> did you say what year it was, or did you just? I didn't. Uh, okay. I, didn't, I didn't even have to look it up. It's up to wheels if you want me to answer that. I don't even have an answer, so I. You may have to give another guess. I'm trying to think of anyone who held both them belts. <laughs> you know, do you want the year of the match or the year that they won those titles? <laughs> year of the match. Well, the year of the match was January 2010. It doesn't, I don't, it doesn't help. I know, I was going to say, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to really help you. <laughs> now, he won the tag team titles in 2000 and 2004 and the light you know, title in the year 2000. I can only think of one person who's held both. Oh, no, I can think of two now. Oh. Nope. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> yeah, then. Well, if, if that's even the only two, <laughs> I've thought of two, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop thinking because I, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, all right, he's in. Wheels are you in with at least a guess. I'm guessing, but yeah. All right, g- give it to me, Wheels. What you got? Brian Christopher. What you got, Kev? Oh, uh, Scotty, too hotty. <laughs> you both were too cool. One of you's right, and that is Kevin. Kevin's right. I don't think Christopher ever held the light heavyweight or any singles gold. I had a Spike Dudley. Could I was like Spike Dudley? Was he light heavyweight and tag team? So then I was like, no, because he was cruiserweight. Oh, so yeah. Maybe Scotty too. He's literally the only person to hold them belts, both of them. I have to fact check. In fact, I'll even fact check while we lose this next question. Number eighteen. I'll actually right off the top of my head. Did Xbox ever win the tag titles? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So go. immediately, 
Why didn't I think of X Pac? I didn't think of X Pac at all. <laughs> Good, because you would have been wrong. Number eight, no. AJ Styles, and then also Roderick Strong faced the one current New Japan star in his only match for TNA in January 2006. <laughs> All right, let's get some guesses on the board, gentlemen. I'm still thinking. I know. So, so I'm telling you to stop thinking and put some guesses on the board. <laughs> I've, I've literally forgotten everyone who wrestles in New Japan at the moment. Will so. answer. Oh, current, currently in New Japan? Yes. Then I have the wrong answer. That's in my question, too. That is That is what I said, too. AJ Styles and then later Roderick Strong. These are two separate matches. Face the one current and New Japan star. It is only TNA matches in 2006. I didn't, I think, no. If, if I heard the name of that, I heard it. <laughs> uh, I should start watching New Japan. Yeah, New, New Japan World, it's cheap. The G1 just finished. I heard good things. What number is this? This is question number 18. So only two more. Well, this answer, including this one, three more to go. No, I don't like that answer. I started writing an answer and I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Uh, yeah, give me some. I put down Liger. I know that's wrong. Don't tell him. Just I'm crossing out Liger. Yeah, thanks, Will. <laughs> um, oh no, I'll just put it. I'm just gonna go with my original one. I can't think of anyone else. All right, Will's you got something? Nope. Will's has nothing. Kevin, let's see. You can pull this out. I went with Zack Sabre Jr. Oh, I don't think he's... Her Hiroshi Tanahashi. Tanahashi. <sighs> Fought AJ at a review and then later on actually had an explosion and then went back to Japan. Number 19. Santino Morella's in-ring name is an homage to Robert Morella, a WWE Hall of Famer better known as who what? Robert Morella... Who is Robert Morello? In. Woohoo! Oh, Wheels. Wheels. What you got? Gorilla Monsoon. Very nice, gentlemen. I thought that was a toughie, and you both. Pulled it out. Speaking of pulling it out, can you pull this one out? That sounds dirty. Number 20, the main event of SummerSlam in 1999 featured who as the special guest referee? This could be the make or break question. I think I might have got it wrong. <laughs> oh, that means wheels get tied up and we have to go in overtime. Oh, we have answers? Do you repeat one more time? Absolutely. <laughs> the main event of SummerSlam 
1999 featured who as the special guest referee? Wheels is in. Uh, How are you in, Kev? Yes, I'm in. I, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm having a uh, panic. Show me that answer. Is it Kevin first or me first? Wheels, 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 wheels. I see a J. I see a <sighs> Jesse and a Ventura. Oh, Kevin playing coy as oh. always. He pulls it out. So did Wheels, but unfortunately, what a tough, awesome match between these two. Kevin with twelve. <laughs> I told you I'd get 12. <laughs> Holy crap. I mean, <laughs> Kevin's not lying. 12 is your magical number. Even when it looked like at the beginning that you weren't going to pull out the 12, you pulled it out. <laughs> uh, I, had a sudden, I suddenly thought Jesse Ventura was 1998, and then I couldn't remember what happened in 1998, and I was uh, having a panic. Is the uh, Madison Square Garden uh, way to hell, I think, or whatever. Austin and Taker. Um, yeah, and the 99 is the triple threat. Uh, so, yes, guys, fantastic match, 12 to 11, uh, back and forth. Will's starting it off hot, but Kevin never giving up, never surrendering like a good friend, Lance Catamaran. Uh, Will's, any parting words? The end of my streak is over, but good, good job, Kevin. Kevin, this means, oh, by the way, big news. This means you, Kevin, move on to the finals of the king of WTT or WWT. I totally know the initials. King of WWT trivia of 2020. <laughs> you face, who does he face, Wheels? Ryan McCormick. I totally remembered his name. I didn't just go to you because I forgot his name. Ryan McCormick versus Kevin coming up in the finals of the tournament. That's going to be a fierce one here. Kevin, uh, don't underestimate this guy. Do some studying. Oh. Catch up. Uh, you're, you're a fierce competitor, but you might need 13 to 14 points to win. So you got to just eke it out a little bit more next time. Well, I mean, I should have had 13 today, but uh, someone was a bit harsh. Son of a bitch. Well, with that, <laughs> uh, with that, uh, this was JPO Wills. And even though he won, <laughs> uh, Ryan McCormick, he's my favorite. Thank you for watching Wrestling with Trivia. Hey, can Kevin get any closer? Stay tuned to find out. Mm -hmm.